Ebony? Ebony, oh my God. Ebony, are you okay? Ebony, domestic abuse is a serious issue. Do you want to know how I know? You see the scar on my neck right here? If it had been one inch over to the left, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you right now. You know my ex-husband, the one that promised he would love, honor, and protect me? Well, instead, he decided he wanted to beat me into submission and make me his personal slave. Do you know he used to chain me to the hot water heater in the basement so that I couldn't leave while he was at work? And he just... He isolated me from my family and from my friends. He made me totally dependent on him for everything, for money, for food, for clothes. It's like I was stuck. I didn't feel like I could move. For three years, I felt like I was just dead, like I was sleepwalking. I used to wish I was dead. And I used to pray to God to please just, just take me now. Take me now, because I just can't take this punishment. It was in misery. I was in pain. And he just did everything he could to, to box me in and just make me feel like I had nowhere to go. I didn't have anybody to turn to. I didn't have anybody to tell because he put on this front like he was Mr. Nice Guy. Everybody loved him. Everybody except me, the person that was there with him every day. He made my life a living hell. Ebony, you don't have to live like that. You have me. It's not your fault. He used to tell me all the time. He used to, to blame me for everything that went wrong in his life. But I had to understand that it was not my fault. It wasn't my fault that he was dealing with his own personal demons. He was dealing with his own personal demons. Oh, baby. Stupid, don't you? What are you talking about? I saw about? you looking at that Christmas party. You think you think I'm dumb, don't you? No. You gonna learn? You gonna learn today? Dumb. <laughs> us, right? And you know, when a man loves you, he will show it. And if daddy didn't love me, he wouldn't care what I say. He didn't, he wouldn't care what I do. When he wouldn't come home, he would never even get mad. But this is just how he expresses himself. Listen, baby. <laughs> You may not understand right now, but one of these days you want to, you're going to want to have a man around. And in order to keep that man around, you're going to have to make some tough decisions. You understand? I love your father. And your father loves me. And we both love you. You know, the Bible says that God disciplines those he loves. You understand? And Daddy disciplines me because he loves me. So when Daddy hits me and you see Mommy crying, it's not because he hurt me. It's because... I'm sorry I didn't do the right thing. I'm sorry that I made him mad. But the reason I can smile is because I know he does it because he loves me. And he loves me. And when a man loves you, he will fight for you. And he will also fight you. You understand? 
that's how you know it's real love. You understand that? I will never understand how my mother let my father take her strength. She was beautiful, vibrant, and so goal-oriented. But she just let him take that from her. And it wasn't just the names that he called her that stung. No, he wounded her with his hands, with his insults, and with his dick. Yeah, I saw that too. I remember everything. Sometimes I think I cried more than she did. I'd hear her screams and I'd go running towards her cries, but when I got there, she would just shove me away. And she'd say, go away, baby, it's okay. I'm fine. But she wasn't. And she knew that. He knew that. And I knew that. But I obeyed her. And I'd, I'd go to that place where she told me to hide until she came to get me. When she got there, she'd still be shaking. But I didn't care. Because I could... I could feel her breath. And that meant she was okay. <laughs> Even if she was breathing so hard. You know, she used to do everything to try and keep me from crying. Yeah. But all I ever wanted was for her to stop crying. Oh. I won't ever forget that last blow. Him grabbing her by the neck and shoving her into the dresser. She was just laying there, staring up at the ceiling, but she wasn't breathing hard. He killed her. She wasn't breathing at all. And I vowed in that moment, I would never shed another tear at the hands of a man. Never. No more. I didn't mean to hurt her. I doubt anyone really means to hurt someone they love. But it happens. And before you know it, the deed and the damage are done. Now, the thing is, I genuinely don't know what I did to her. if I did anything at all. All I remember is seeing red. One minute we're good, the next minute, I see the blood. My blood. Again. Women, women are not violent. They're hormonal. They're not abusers. They're passionate. And men, men are not victims. They're men. Even when a woman hits a man, that man shouldn't hit her back because he's supposed to protect her. But 
what do you do? Well, the one you're supposed to protect said I don't kill you. And your son is standing there looking at you. His example. Blood running down the side of your face. He wants a response. He deserves a response. There is no proper response. I would kill myself. But it wouldn't erase the memories of me. If I hit her, I'm an animal. If I do nothing, I'm weak. And I have run out of options that might save my son from becoming either. <laughs>